Closing arguments are now underway in the Michael Jackson wrongful death trial. Eyewitness News reporter Shimmer Vindran is live at the courthouse in downtown LA where jurors will soon decide whether the late singer's mother, Katherine Jackson, should be awarded more than $1 billion from concert promoter AEG. Shuba. Well, Leslie, Katherine Jackson, as well as a handful of other Jackson family members, are in the courtroom today for closing arguments, which began just about a half an hour ago. And for the first time since this trial began about five months ago, the judge has allowed cameras inside the courtroom. And we want to take you inside the courtroom now. These are live pictures. You can see uh, Brian Panish, uh, the attorney representing the plaintiffs. Uh, he just started speaking uh, about 20 minutes ago. He is expected to give his closing arguments for much of the day today. Uh, then attorneys representing AEG Live will give a rebuttal, followed by a final rebuttal again by the plaintiffs. Now, this is all expected to last a couple of days, and then the jury will begin deliberations. And of course, the big question for them is to answer in this case who hired Dr. Conrad Murray, the man convicted in 2011 of giving Michael Jackson a lethal dose of propofol. Now, if jurors find that AEG hired the doctor, they must also decide whether the concert promoter was negligent by knowing Murray was unfit or incompetent. Now, AEG claims it was Jackson who initially chose Murray to be his doctor, and it was Jackson's own negligence which contributed to his death. Now, Mr. Panish uh, has been talking a lot about Michael Jackson this morning, his rise from humble beginnings to uh, becoming the king of pop. He acknowledged that Jackson abused prescription medications, but it was AEG that did whatever it could to get him on stage. There's no question AEG wanted the king of pop their arena in London. They want it so badly that despite the, these comments they make about Michael Jackson and the tabloids and everything, they want him so badly that they would do whatever it took to get him on stage. And they told that to Dr. Murray. They told Dr. Murray, we want you to have everything you could have. They knew exactly what he offered, an unlimited supply of prescription medications during the time of the pain, stress, and anxiety get Michael Jackson on stage. We knew that. Now, Katherine Jackson, as well as Michael Jackson's three children, could get as much as a billion dollars in this case if they win. Now, once the jury starts deliberating, they will be partially sequestered, meaning they'll have private exits to go in and out of the courthouse. They can go home, but they'll have private lunches. Uh, they'll basically be secluded within the courthouse, and it's expected that they could start deliberating as early as Thursday. Reporting live from downtown L.A., Shubha Ravindran, ABC7 Eyewitness News.